some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we've got the angry vet who is apparently on the run because he didn't know about Maryland's wiretapping laws. Oh, boy. I warned certain frauditors about this on some of my videos that it may come back to bite them in the ass. But you know what? You only have yourself to blame, dude. You should have been doing your research instead of acting like a complete dumbass, and now you're going to pay the price. So, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this idiot squirm like the little punk he is. Okay, TAV family. Maybe not live, but I'll be posting this as soon as I'm done. Um, from an undisclosed location. Yeah, I'm sure you're in an undisclosed location in a cabin located beneath Area 51. Am I right? Because apparently... Oh, here, hold on. Let me uh, show you. I'm at the cabin. I am, uh, that's the wood stove, and, uh, this is my current situation. Had a delivery to, to make up here, so, not even in town. So, apparently, the VA hospital has pressed charges against me. Yeah. I got a phone call while driving up the road today from the Cecil County Sheriff's Department. Told me I had a warrant for my arrest. <laughs> that the VA hospital has uh, the sergeant of one of my videos I'll link the video charging me with disorderly and wiretapping mm, yes wiretapping yeah now you're learning the real laws instead of going around showing misinterpreted versions of what is supposed to be laws so enjoy the consequences of your stupidity and uh disorderly I asked him what it was for. He he said the VA hospital is charging me with wiretapping and disorderly. And uh, I I said, are these what is are these federal charges? And he said no, that they're state charges, and that apparently. I guess, I'm guessing, the victim in all of this is this sergeant that he speaks of. And I asked him, well, how, how is that even possible? I said, shouldn't the charges be federal charges if this sergeant is doing... And why didn't the sergeant, you know arrest me at, at the point of, you know, this alleged uh, wiretapping and uh, disorderly. He couldn't answer that. Okay, I got a question for you anyway. Why would he want to answer the question anyway? Because, you know, if he gets the answer wrong, he's in trouble legally. And second of all, you frauditors are known to twist the words of people on camera to suit your own narrative. He said he, he just wanted to make sure he was protecting my rights. That he knew I was a First Amendment auditor 
and he knew that I had just been at Northeast Police Department and that I was at emissions and yada, yada, yada. And he, and he made out that um, he was behind me, I guess. Like, it seemed like, you know, he was like, I'm a vet too. I understand what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. And, and he, I'm protecting your rights. And I, and I said to him, I said, well... If, if you were protecting my rights, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. You know what I think? I think the uh, sheriff was taking the middle ground to make sure that you would not incite your fan base to go call flood the sheriff's department, which is a dirty little tactic that uh, you frauditors like to use because it ensures a disruption in the normal flow of business. Right? I mean, it's just a guess. And uh, he said, well, that's an ignorant statement. So I told him to mail me the, the this warrant that, that he has and uh, get it in my hands so I can give it to my lawyer and my lawyer can take care. You know, I hope they can track the signal of your cell phone right there that you're recording with so they can come in and serve you the warrant on a Friday evening. That way you'll spend the whole weekend in jail before you go up to a judge. This is uh, disconcerting, to say the least. I don't know. A lot of questions, really. Like, I mean the alleged victim even told me on camera that I was not breaking any laws. You watch the video for yourselves and let me know what you think. Um, I think I'm being forced to open civil litigation on the VA hospital. Come on now, dude. You claim to be a veteran, which means you share a brotherhood with everybody in the military, not just your branch, but everybody. And now you say you want to sue the uh, veterans hospital over this, which means it'll take away monetary resources to help your fellow brothers out who actually need assistance with medical bills, medicine, and everything like that, you are a scumbag. Which is sad. It's very, very sad. I mean, if I hadn't had, if I hadn't had my camera recording that interaction, they definitely would have got away with not servicing me. Well, now, I think that if you had acted like a normal person and walked in there, you probably would have been serviced just fine, but you had to go in there and cause a disturbance. So, yeah, I mean, it's all on your head, not theirs. Because who would have, who would believe me, right? Without the video, who's going to believe me without the video? The battle has begun. And, um,. I honestly feel like this is war. This guy doesn't want to take ownership of any of his own actions, which has always led me to question whether or not he was actually in the military. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.